Now, thousands of events are taking place around the country tonight to mark Culture Night. The event is now in its 10th year and our arts and media correspondent Sinead Crowley has been out and about sampling the delights and she joins us now. Sinead, is the night living up to expectations? It certainly is. I'm here in Meeting House Square in Temple Bar where the live arena broadcast is still going on on RTE Radio 1. The weather is dry tonight, unlike last year. The atmosphere is great. I'd say we're going to hear some applause in a second, judging by what's going on behind me. And it is 10 years since Culture Night started. It really is hard to believe. It was quite an experiment here in Temple Bar 10 years ago. They said they'd open the galleries late one night, see if people wanted to come in and sample some of the art. And I really don't think anyone thought that a decade later, over 350,000 people would take part and that's the figure we're hearing this evening over 350,000 people taking part in events around the country and I can tell you now that a lot of people have been really enjoying young and old music drama and everything else and we can take a little look now at what they were enjoying earlier Right back where it first began, the RTE Concert Orchestra were among the performers in Temple Bar in Dublin tonight. Ten years ago, Culture Night started in this little corner of the capital. Now, it's nationwide. In Galway, there was living art at the Spanish Arch, while the Contempo Quartet got feet tapping in the city. And younger artists got some hands-on hat-making experience. Among the performers in Limerick were members of the Patterns Dance Collective, performing at the Riverside Garden in the Hunt Museum. I'm very happy with all the audience and clapping and everything. In Tullamore, the municipal district building became an open-air art gallery tonight, while Waterford looked forward to the Imagine Arts Festival. There were children's drumming workshops in Cork City, as well as plenty of activity at the English market. Meanwhile, back in Dublin, the 10th birthday celebrations were in full swing. We came to the first one and it was, uh, at the time it was amazing, but over the years we've seen it grow, so. Uh, I like Dublin. J'aime Dublin. <laughs> I think it's quite incredible what's happened. I mean, it's really grown, in particular in the last three years, and even this year, marking the 10th year, there's just been a real buzz about it. Another highlight in the capital was the illumination of Dublin Castle, which attracted massive crowds. It looks like Culture Night's 10th birthday will be the first of many such milestones. So just a small sample there of over 1,500 events that happened all over the country tonight. And worth noting as well this year that Culture Night went to international because there were events in New York, in Leeds and in Paris as well. Artists always really like taking part in Culture Night because it's a chance for people to actually talk to them and ask them what they're doing and find out a little bit more. And I suppose the message that comes out every year and is as strong as ever this year is that if you do go out tonight and enjoy something, don't leave it another 12 months. Go and experiment and go and find maybe a music group or a dram group in your area. It really is hope that people get an experience on Culture Night and then move in and do something for the rest of the year. So celebrating its 10th birthday, I've absolutely no doubt that there's 10 years and more to run in Culture Night.